Hi friends, welcome back for another math lesson. Today we're going to be identifying unknown side lengths of rectilinear shapes. On our agenda today, we're going to talk about what are rectilinear shapes. You already know, you just didn't know that word. We'll do a do now to help us remember some rules that we're going to need to use during this lesson. We'll do some guided practice problems and then it will be time for your exit ticket. So let's get to it. You might be wondering, what is a rectilinear shape? What is Ms. Pagliarani talking about? So these are all examples of rectilinear shapes. A rectilinear shape is a shape that is closed. So if you were to put a ball inside of this shape, it couldn't fall out of the shape, right? It would hit a wall or a side every single time. And it's made up of only straight lines, right? So you notice that none of the lines go off this grid here, right? They're all straight, none of them are curved. So basically rectilinear shapes are made up of rectangles, okay? That's important for us to know. We can break them up into rectangles. So for our do now, I want you to look at the rectangle in this picture. The length of the left side we can see is five feet. The width of the bottom is three feet. So using what you know about rectangles and side lengths, figure out the width of the top and the length of the right side of the rectangle. I'll give you a second to think before we go over the rule. Do you have it figured out? If you don't, that's okay. We're going to go over the rule. So what's the rule for finding the missing side lengths of a rectangle? We have to remember that opposite sides of rectangles have the same length or width depends on what we're finding, right? Remember, length goes up and down, width goes side to side, okay? So the length over here is five feet. The opposite side is also going to be five feet. So I'm going to jot that down over here, five feet. And then same goes for the width. So if I know the bottom is three feet, I know that the top is also going to be three feet because it's opposite. We're going to use this rule to help us find the missing side lengths of rectilinear shapes, okay? So it's really important that we remember this opposite sides rule. They have the same length or width. Okay. Let's jump into our first guided practice problem. We are just cruising along, friends. Joseph is trying to label all of the sides of the shape below. Help him figure out the length of side A. Okay, so my focus is going to be on side A over here on the left. So first, do you think that these are actually feet, right? I see I have two feet, three feet, five feet, two feet, Remember, one foot is the length of a whole ruler. So do you think that these are, these are actually feet? No way, right? This is just a small diagram of what an actual larger shape would look like. So it's not like we could really measure this, these missing sides here, you know, I'm focused on A, but uh, it's not like I could really measure it with a ruler. So, hmm, is there a way that I could break this shape up. It does look like it's made of rectangles. What if I did something like this? I'm going to break it up into a top rectangle and then a bottom rectangle. 
scoot that over a little bit. Let's do green. Oh, that's kind of hard to see. We'll do yellow instead. Okay, so now I've broken up my rectilinear shape into two smaller rectangles. This is going to help me to be able to figure out that missing side. Okay, so what did I just do? If you said, broke it up into two smaller rectangles, you're right. All right, so now I can use that opposite sides rule again. I've got to come back to that, right? So let's see, I'm looking to find side A. So how could I find this part of side A? Well, I know that this side of this rectangle is three feet, so by my opposite size rule, this part of the rectangle, this side of the rectangle also has to be three feet. So I'm going to label it three feet. Three feet and three feet, opposite sides. I could do the same thing to find this part, right? Because this whole length, side A is not three feet. It's just this part up here. So I still have to find this part. Right, so I see over here in my yellow rectangle that the right side is two feet and this side is opposite that, so it's also going to be two feet. Okay, hmm, am I done? The side length is three, two, or 32, right? <laughs> no. I have to find, I have the, the lengths of this part and this part of side A, but I don't have the length of the whole side A, right? I have to put them together. I have to take this part and this part and put it together to make the whole. So what operation do I use when I wanna put things together? Did you say addition? If you did, you're right. So I would do three from this first part plus two from this bottom part here. Can't forget to label. Three feet plus two feet equals five feet. Awesome. So now I know that to, instead of this being three feet and two feet, I could just label the whole side A as five feet for this entire length. All right, time for our second guided practice problem. Now, Jaquela is trying to find it one more side length here. We're going to help her to figure out how long side length X should be, okay? So think in your brain, how could I break this up into smaller rectangles? You can pause the video if you need more time. I was thinking something like this, breaking it up into this one. Let's do orange this time. And here we'll do purple. Okay. So now I've broken this up into two rectangles, right? I had my rectilinear shape, broke it up into two rectangles. And then, hmm, could use that opposite sides rule again. So this side is six. So I know that this whole side is six. 
but I only want to know part X, which just goes from here to here, right? I don't want to know the whole thing. Hmm. I see that I, I do know this part as well. Can you figure out how I know just this top part of the right side? Think about the opposite sides rule. Over here for the purple rectangle, right? I have two feet on the right side, which shows me that this part is also two feet. I'm going to label that so I don't forget. Two feet. Okay, so I know this side is two feet, this side is two feet, and since I know this whole right side of the orange rectangle is six, and I know this small part of the right side of the orange rectangle is two. I know the whole and I know a part. So I need to find the other part, right? It's kind of like saying Miss Paglarani has 12 lollipops, six lollipops are red and the rest are blue. How many are blue? I know the whole and I know a part, but I need to find the other part. So what operation could I use to find the other part? Hmm. Well, I think in that lollipop problem, to find the blue lollipops, I would have subtracted. So I could do, for this, the whole side is six feet minus the part I know, which is the two feet, And that would give me, what's six minus two? It is four feet. I could also think of it this way, right? We know part, part, whole. You could do two feet, the part, plus something, the missing x. We could call it x, actually. Right, part x is equal to the whole, which is six, right? And then we would know that two feet plus the x we found out by subtracting was four equals six feet. So you could do it that way and you could count up as well from two to six if that's easier for you, okay? So now I can check two feet plus, let me add in a text box over here, four feet for side x or part x is it going to be two plus four is six. So now I know that part X is four feet, and I answered the question. It's time for our X ticket. So you're going to go back to today's assignment on Google Classroom, which is under Math Tuesday, June 2nd. You're going to click on Exit Ticket, Identifying Unknown Side Lengths of Rectilinear Shapes, which is a Google form. You'll complete the activities, and click Submit at the bottom, and then you'll go back to Google Classroom and click Turn In. And that's it for today, friends. I will see you soon. Have a great day.